serious what are some scary, horrifying, creepy things that have happened to you, or in general, that could have a plausible explanation, but still freak you out. I was sitting in my classroom in grade school when all of a sudden I had this overwhelming sense of despair hit me out of nowhere. It was like that feeling when your heart drops to your feet, but magnified tenfold. I turned to a girl next to me and told her I feel like something really bad just happened. I learned later that day my brother jumped off a 15 story building literally right before I told my classmate. She found out the next day why I wasn't in class and apparently had to be sent home. I actually talked to her somewhat recently and it still freaks her out. I heard someone singing directly under my bed. There was nothing under the bed that it cold been. Phone, iPod, radio, speaker or whatever it sounded like a woman literally just laying under my bed singing. I jumped off my bed and looked under and there was nothing, but for some reason the room felt so much darker under the bed. The singing stopped. As soon as I jumped off I haven't heard it since. On my teen days I was online dating someone from another country, I know, lame. I was deep in love at the time, and she said she was going to see a friend. I didn't have anything to do, so I went to bed. I started to sleep awake, idk if it's the right word for it, and at first I started to listen to voices and I couldn't figure out what they were saying. Then I saw 5 or 6 people laughing and drinking in a living room. I woke up and wondered about it before sleep again. Next day she posts pictures, and it was the exact place and people I saw, besides her. At boarding school I had this big loud ass alarm clock. Unmistakable. Well, one day I forgot to set it or something I wake up at 9, sun shining through my window, it's a new day, and I'm late to class. I rush to put on my uniform, brush out my hair, get my shit together, skip food or brushing my teeth, get out the door. This whole time I'm praying for God to turn back the clock, so I won't be late. Now, this storm has alarm doors. They turn on automatically from like 9pm to 6am. Anytime the door opens between these times, the fire bells go off. As I'm running down three flights of steps it's getting dim outside. I dash out onto quad into the grey misty morning. The sun hasn't risen, but still illuminates the sky. A single monk is walking by, and I ask him what time it is. The 5 o'clock bell just rang. He tells me. I realize I don't know him, it's his small school, most everybody knows everybody. I thank him, confused, and head back to my room. By some miracle, the alarms don't go off. I go back to my room, and browse on my computer, mystified by my experience. No one believes me. I was really tired from a day at placement, and I laid down on my side on my bed, and was facing my laptop. On the left, was my chair which was facing me right next to my bed. I checked the time, and around 5 minutes later I quickly involuntarily drifted off into an extremely vivid dream that would horrify me to this day. I dreamt that I was at uni in class when this girl with long black hair and no face came to the door asking for me saying that I had won a prize and to go with her. I stood up and followed as although she had no face she wasn't threatening and had a pleasant but strange presence to her. We walked down a hallway and I asked what my prize was. She said you will see, but you have to do something first. I said sure and asked her what I had to do. She stated that I would receive a great prize, but I would have to earn it through public speaking and I would have to make a speech in front of a large crowd. I said that I would accept the prize, but there was no way I would do a public speech. We arrived at this door, and she told me to open it. I opened it, and walked through to find a red carpet with rows and rows of people in seats with a stage at the end. An announcer announced my name and everyone turned around looking at me while clapping. I was horrified, and said nope you can keep your prize. The faceless woman was behind me, and pushed me forward. I instantly moved back, and said I don't want your prize. This angered her. What happened next still fucks with me till this day. She was beside me, and I looked just in time for her to slap me on the back. The strange thing was it was the biggest slap I have ever felt in my life. It was 10 rapid slaps in one. I instantly woke up as I jolted forward, and felt pain on my back where I had been slapped. I turned around, and saw the vacant chair and no one was there. My back felt like it had actually been slapped, and I was freaking out. I went and checked the mirror, and I had a handprint on my back. Only 10 minutes had passed 
Since I last checked the time, TL, doctor fell asleep briefly, had a dream that a faceless woman got angry with me and slapped me 10 times in one second, woke up in pain and with a handprint on my back, mentally scarred to this day. I lived in what I've come to realize must have been a haunted apartment for 7 years, so I have a lot of these. I know it sounds crazy, and you don't have to believe me, I wouldn't if I hadn't lived it, but since you asked, I'll give you the highlights. Small handprints would sometimes appear on the bathroom mirror when I showered. I moved in when I was almost 13, and the only other person who lived there was my mother. The handprints were the size of a child under the age of 10, and they aspirated periodically for the entire time we lived there, and they never got any bigger. For periods of weeks to months at a time, one specific door, the bedroom directly across from the bathroom, would seem to have a mind of its own. We could not make it stay open or closed during these time because it would close and open itself at random. Normally, when this happened, it would move slowly, but on one occasion it slammed itself shut. It wasn't doing it because of a draft or uneven floors, because for 90% of the time we lived there, it was a totally normal door, and it only had 2-4 to four of these rebellious periods. Things would move on their own. Two very notable examples of this were the time a 20 ounces can of peanuts flew clear across the room, and scattered peanuts everywhere, and the time the chain of the chain lock started swinging spontaneously, and continued to do so for 5 minutes. These things happened in the same week. The building was built in the 1930s, so there was no central ventilation. We had two window unit air conditioners. That's it, I would get scratches from nothing. Most of them, I could explain away, but a few were unexplainable, such as the scratch on my thigh that I got while in gym class, while surrounded by people, none of whom saw anything unusual, and the cut all the way across my wrist that showed up when I wad, putting shampoo in my hair. There were a lot more too, but this is already pretty long, so I'll leave it there for now. One of my best friends in high school and I used to drive to all the haunted spots we could find in our state. Sometimes we'd get other people to come and sometimes alone. Creepy stuff happened a lot, but it was usually us just being on edge and most could be explained away. One thing happened though that I will never forget and I can never find a logical reason for. One night her and I were alone playing our little game, but this time we stuck to our own town. We were heading to a bridge that is known for creepy stuff happening and we were passing through a neighborhood we had both been in a million times before. It was a quiet and darker neighborhood filled with only houses. She turned on a street, again that I had been on before, and there was a gravel road into woods in front of us. I said something like, what the hell, I don't remember this? And she was dead silent and drove onto the gravel and into the trees. We were driving and there were turns and curves, but this gravel road and trees were all that was around. I kept saying I was confused, this wasn't supposed to be where we were, and my friend was agreeing. We had been in this area countless times and there were any woods or gravel roads. I felt so uneasy. She gave me her phone and told me to pull up Google Maps and see where it said we were. It wouldn't pin our location, and I was pretty much all but crying and hyperventilating at this point. We drove for a while, and couldn't find any roads leading out, or where we came from. Finally after forever we got out of it, and she just kind of silently took me home. The next day we decided to go find it again, took the exact same roads and there was nothing there. The neighborhood was normal. If I was alone, I would have chalked it up to falling asleep or losing my damn mind, but we were both together, and the exact same thing happened. Whenever I tell people about it, I'm not sure they believe me but it still gives me goosebumps. Nothing overtly scary happened while in these woods, but they 100% weren't supposed to be there. Copied from another thread that I replied to about a year ago. I have multiple experiences, mainly at hospital, I'm a nurse. But the worst one for me has to have been when I was at a friend's house. We were chilling in his back garden at around 2 slash 3 a.m. Because one of our other friends had just had a massive argument with his GF. So there we were, height of summer, in his back garden. No drinks, no drugs, just there chilling smoking a cigar in the garden and talking about nerdy things. 
I was facing the pair of them and sat on my left hand side in patio furniture, so there was the arm attached to the seat, but a huge gap with a table next to me, when something cold grabbed me and pulled me from my chair, like literally pulled my by my jeans. My friends just kinda shut up and stared before we all went home without saying a word to each other. I have multiple stories, but most of them are at the hospital and not really affected me in a drastic way. I have a strange one, not a ghost story, I've literally never spoken about to anyone. Small backstory, I have had a few significant personal events happen in my past. Parents split around age 1 and moved out of state away from my father and large extended family around age 5. I also lived in about 8 different houses before my out of state move. I believe that because of these events I have memories from a lot younger than your average person. I have confirmed memories by talking to my parents from as early as 2 to 3 and one unconfirmed from 1, a memory of my parents still together. So now to the strange. I remember being very young, 2 to 4, and being able to see what my mom sees. I would close my eyes and essentially be able to see out of hers. I don't remember much of me doing it, but I vividly remember the day it stopped. I woke up and thought to myself, let's see what my mom is up to. I closed my eyes and nothing. The ability was gone. I just laid there and thought to myself, verbatim, huh, I must be growing up. And that was it. I didn't give it a second thought. It was almost like I knew it was going to happen and accepted it. I've this memory my entire life and think about it time to time. It probably is just an overactive imagination, but coupled with other experiences, memories, and dreams it really makes me wonder 